I love the Spider-Man and X-Men movies and every black metal fan should. You know why? The Spider-Man movies are made by Sony, the X-Men movies were made by 21st Century Fox. The reason those movies were made by those companies was because Marvel Comics was obviously doing pretty well. I mean, it has a lot of iconic characters and there are a lot of nerdy comic book readers. But in the 90s, Marvel thought, uh, we gotta uh, like really market our comics to collectors. Like, for each comic book, to like eight versions with different covers. Same content, but different covers. And then all those collectors are going to buy all of them, expecting to sell them for $100 or $1,000 a piece in like 50 years. <coughs> So let's do it like that. Let's spend a lot of money on doing eight versions of each comic book and putting it in all the comic book stores. And they did that. And you know there are some people who, you know heavy metal fans, black metal fans, death metal fans, you know these people who are like, oh, we are the true fans, we are of course going to buy all this. There were these people in the 90s from Marvel Comics who were like, oh, like really proud with the true fans, we are going to buy every version. But, turns out that they weren't very many. Marvel Comics completely overestimated how many of those true fans, <laughs> those self-declared diehards there were. And in the last decade or two, metal, ex especially extreme metal, has been doing the same, doing like, of each album that a label brings out, there are like uh, eight different versions for all the diehard fans. Like, you gotta have like, four different CD versions, the um, normal jewel case, the uh, slip case, jewel case, the diggy pack, and you gotta have the uh, vinyl versions, and with um, gatefold, and with uh, picture LP, and all the diehard fans are going to buy it, because in 50 years they're going to sell it on Discogs for high prices. You know what? Again, there are those diehard fans, uh, and you can see them on metal forums acting really elitist, like, we're the true fans, of course we buy the physical media, we are not like some pirate scum, blah blah blah. And again, it turns out there aren't very many of them, and you know why the rights to Spider-Man and X-Men went to uh, Sony and Fox respectively? It's because when Marvel Comics did that in the 90s, they went bankrupt. They went broke. They spent all that money on producing all that crap. And those super diehards were buying that, but there weren't as many of them as anybody thought. And most people just bought the comic book they wanted the one version of the comic book they wanted because they wanted the content and not the cover. Yeah, and then all the rest of that crap was left rotting in comic book stores and in heavy metal, death metal, black metal, all that stuff. It's the same. You have all the billions of diehard versions nowadays. And actually, people just want to listen to the music. They buy the regular CD listen to the music. <laughs> yeah, what a surprise, like the vast majority of people want to actually listen to the actual music on a metal album. Just like in the 90s, comic book fans uh, wanted to read a Marvel comic, wanted to read an X-Men comic or a Spider-Man comic or a Captain America comic or an Iron Man comic or whatever, they wanted to read the story. They didn't actually want to collect the eight different versions. And nowadays, black metal fans or death metal fans, they're the same. They actually want to listen what the music sounds like. 
put the music in their ears and enjoy the music. They don't actually want to have the eight different die-hard collector's editions. What a surprise and is it shocking anybody that this crap is uh, really killing the metal and extreme metal scenes right now because the labels are just completely committing suicide with all that diehard crap because they think these uh, really loudmouth uh, collectors on metal forums like oh of course I buy everything I'm not a pirate scum I buy everything buy 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 the physical medium I need to put it in my shelf and display it and see the great cover and they are like really loudmouth uh, really annoying people and uh, the labels thought that was really a big demographic in the metal scene and it isn't 95% at least of people they just want to hear the music they want to hear metal bands playing metal music with sound waves coming out of the speakers or the earphones into the ears having music to listen to not the eight different covers who cares about the different covers who cares about the collector's edition diode edition this ed edition this edition this version this version this version nobody wants to hear that and all the freaking labels in this century so far are just completely committing suicide with all that garbage because they completely overestimate the demographic of the diehard loudmouth collector type and there aren't actually that many of them and metal unlike marvel isn't one single company thankfully metal cannot go bankrupt because there's more than one company in metal than there is in in marvel comics there's just one company which is marvel comics in metal obviously it's a lot more spread out so it cannot commit suicide that easily but all the labels individually are committing suicide that way and it makes it more difficult for artists on a whole to find labels because all the labels left and right are committing suicide that way and they shouldn't so honestly take an example from marvel comics look at spider-man and x-men they were great movies by sony and uh, Fox 21st century Fox but Marvel Comics never wanted to get rid of their own properties they did that because they went bankrupt don't let metal go bankrupt stop supporting this collector's edition with 12 different covers crap it's just stupid just stop that.